Kurdistan, Kurdish, Kurdistan Kilid Street N listen, lit. Region of Kurds. Or Greater Kurdistan is a roughly defined geo-cultural historical region wherein the Kurdish people form a prominent majority population and Kurdish culture, languages, and national identity have historically been based. Kurdistan roughly encompasses the northwestern Zagros and the eastern Taurus mountain ranges. The territory corresponds to Kurdish irredentist claims. Contemporary use of the term refers to the following areas: southeastern Turkey, northern Kurdistan, northern Iraq, southern Kurdistan, northwestern Iran, eastern Kurdistan, and northern Syria, Rojava or western Kurdistan. Some Kurdish nationalist organizations seek to create an independent nation-state consisting of some or all of these areas with a Kurdish majority, while others campaign for greater autonomy within the existing national boundaries. Iraqi Kurdistan first gained autonomous status in a 1970 agreement with the Iraqi government, and its status was reconfirmed as an autonomous entity within the Federal Iraqi Republic in 2005. There is a province by the name Kurdistan in Iran, it is not self-ruled. Kurds fighting in the Syrian civil war were able to take control of large sections of northern Syria as government forces, loyal to President Bashar al-Assad, withdrew to fight elsewhere. Having established their own government, they called for autonomy in a federal Syria after the war. History Etymology The exact origins of the name Kurd are unclear. The suffix stan, Persian, stan, translit, stan is Persian for region. Literal translation, region of Kurds. Kurdistan was also formally spelled Kurdistan. One of the ancient names of Kurdistan is Korduin. Topic: Ancient history. Various groups, among them the Guti, Hurrians, Mani, Manians, and Armenians, lived in this region in antiquity. The original Manian homeland was situated east and south of the Lake Ermia, roughly centered around modern-day Mahabad. The region came under Persian rule during the reign of Cyrus the Great and Darius I. The Kingdom of Corduin, which emerged from the declining Seleucid Empire, was located to the south and southeast of Lake Van between Persia and Mesopotamia and ruled northern Mesopotamia and southeastern Anatolia from 189 BC to AD 384 as vassals of the vying Parthian and Roman Empire. Corduin became a vassal state of the Roman Republic in 66 BC and remained allied with the Romans until AD 384. After 66 BC, it passed another five times between Rome and Persia. Corduin was situated to the east of Tigranocerta, that is, to the east and south of present-day Diyarbakir in southeastern Turkey. Some historians have correlated a connection between Corduin with the modern names of Kurds and Kurdistan. T. A. Sinclair dismissed this identification as false, while a common association is asserted in the Columbia Encyclopedia. Some of the ancient districts of Kurdistan and their corresponding modern names. Corduin or Gordon, Siet, Bitlis and Cernic, Safin, Diyarbakir, Zabdasin or Bezabda, Gotsato Dikadi or Jazirat Ibn or Sisre, Basinia, Biazid, Moxon, Mus, Nefyacheta, Miyavakan, Artemita, Van. One of the earliest records of the phrase Land of the Kurds is found in an Assyrian Christian document of late antiquity, describing the stories of Assyrian saints of the Middle East, such as Abdesho. When the Sasanian Marsban asked Mar Abdesho about his place of origin, he replied that according to his parents, they were originally from Hazza, a village in Assyria. However they were later driven out of Hazza by pagans, and settled in Tamanon, which according to Abdesho was in the land of the Kurds. Tamanon lies just north of the modern Iraq-Turkey border, while Hazza is 12 km southwest of modern Erbil. In another passage in the same document, the region of the Kabur River is also identified as land of the Kurds. According to al Mugadassi and Yaqit al Hamawi, Tamanon was located on the southwestern or southern slopes of Mount Judy and south of Sisre. Other geographical references to the Kurds in Syriac sources appear in Zuknan Chronicle, writings of Michael the Syrian and Bar Hebraeus. They mention the mountains of Qadi, city of Qadi, and country of Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Early history 
In the 10th and 11th centuries, several Kurdish principalities emerged in the region. In the north, the Shadadids in East Transcaucasia between the Kur and Araxes rivers, and the Ravadids centered on Tabriz and which controlled all of Azerbaijan. In the east, the Hassanwadids in Zagros between Shiraza and Khuzistan, and the Anasids centered in Holwan, and in the west, the Marwanids to the south of Diyarbakir and north of Jazeera. Kurdistan in the Middle Ages was a collection of semi independent and independent states called emirates. It was nominally under indirect political or religious influence of caliphs or shahs. A comprehensive history of these states and their relationship with their neighbors is given in the text of Sharanama, written by Prince Sharaf al Din Bitlisi in 1597. The emirates included Baban, Soran, Badanan and Garmian in the south, Bakran, Botan or Botan and Badlis in the north, and Mukrian and Ardalan in the east. The earliest medieval attestation of the toponym Kurdistan is found in a 12th-century Armenian historical text by Mateo Zerhayechi. He described a battle near Amid and Severek in 1062 as to have taken place in Kurdistan. The second record occurs in the prayer from the colophon of an Armenian manuscript of the Gospels, written in 1200. A later use of the term Kurdistan is found in Empire of Trebizond documents in 1336 and in Nuzat al Club, written by Hamdullah Mostofi in 1340. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern history. According to Sharakhan Bitlisi in his Sharanama, the boundaries of the Kurdish land begin at the Strait of Hormuz in the Persian Gulf and stretch on an even line to the end of Malaturan Marish. Evliya Chelebi, who travelled in Kurdistan between 1640 and 1655, mentioned different districts of Kurdistan including Erzurum, Van, Hakari, Sizray, Ahmadiyya, Mosul, Shiraza, Hara, Ardalan, Baghdad, Dern, Derteng, until Basra. In the 16th century, after prolonged wars, Kurdish inhabited areas were split between the Safavid and Ottoman empires. A major division of Kurdistan occurred in the aftermath of the Battle of Chaldiran in 1514, and was formalized in the 1639 Treaty of Zahab. From then until the aftermath of World War I, Kurdish areas including most of Mesopotamia, eastern Anatolia, and traditionally Kurdish northeastern Syria were generally under Ottoman rule, apart from the century-long, intermittent Iranian occupation in the early modern to modern period, and the later reconquest and vast expansion by the Iranian military leader Nader Shah in the first half of the 18th century. After the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, the Allies contrived to split Kurdistan as detailed in the ultimately unratified Treaty of Sevra among several countries, including Kurdistan, Armenia and others. However, the reconquest of these areas by the forces of Kemal Atatürk and other pressing issues caused the Allies to accept the renegotiated Treaty of Lausanne 1923 and the borders of the modern Republic of Turkey, leaving the Kurds without a self-ruled region. Other Kurdish areas were assigned to the new British and French mandated states of Iraq and Syria. At the San Francisco Peace Conference of 1945, the Kurdish delegation proposed consideration of territory claimed by the Kurds, which encompassed an area extending from the Mediterranean shores near Adana to the shores of the Persian Gulf near Bushehr, and included the Lur inhabited areas of southern Zagros. At the end of the First Gulf War, the Allies established a safe haven in northern Iraq. Amid the withdrawal of Iraqi forces from three northern provinces, Iraqi Kurdistan emerged in 1992 as an autonomous entity inside Iraq with its own local government and parliament. A 2010 U.S. report, written before the instability in Syria and Iraq that exists as of 2014, attested that, "...Kurdistan may exist by 2030." The weakening of the Iraqi state following the 2014 Northern Iraq Offensive by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant has also presented an opportunity for independence for Iraqi Kurdistan, augmented by Turkey's move towards acceptance of such a state although it opposes moves toward Kurdish autonomy in Turkey and Syria. <laughs> Northern Kurdistan the incorporation into Turkey of the Kurdish inhabited regions of eastern Anatolia was opposed by many Kurds, and has resulted in a long-running separatist conflict in which thousands of lives have been lost. The region saw several major Kurdish rebellions, including the Kochgiri Rebellion of 1920 under the Ottomans, then successive insurrections under the Turkish state, including the 1924 Sheikh Said Rebellion, the Republic of Ararat in 1927, and the 1937 Derzim Rebellion. 
all were forcefully put down by the authorities. The region was declared a closed military area from which foreigners were banned between 1925 and 1965. In an attempt to deny their existence, the Turkish government categorized Kurds as mountain Turks until 1991. The words Kurds, Kurdistan, or Kurdish were officially banned by the Turkish government. Following the military coup of 1980, the Kurdish language was officially prohibited in public and private life. Many people who spoke, published, or sang in Kurdish were arrested and imprisoned. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, political parties that represented Kurdish interests were banned. In 1983, the Kurdish provinces were placed under martial law in response to the activities of the militant separatist organization the Kurdistan Workers' Party. A guerrilla war took place through the 1980s and 1990s in which much of the countryside was evacuated, thousands of Kurdish populated villages were destroyed by the government, and numerous summary executions were carried out by both sides. Many villages were set on fire. Food embargoes were placed on Kurdish villages and towns. More than 20,000 Kurds were killed in the violence and hundreds of thousands more were forced to leave their homes. Turkey has historically feared that a Kurdish state in northern Iraq would encourage and support Kurdish separatists in the adjacent Turkish provinces, and have therefore historically strongly opposed Kurdish independence in Iraq. However, following the chaos in Iraq after the U.S. invasion, Turkey has increasingly worked with the autonomous Kurdistan regional government. Syrian civil war The successful 2014 northern Iraq offensive by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, with the resultant weakening of the ability of the Iraqi state to project power, also presented a «golden opportunity» for the Kurds to increase their independence and possibly declare an independent Kurdish state. The Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, who took more than 80 Turkish persons captive in Mosul during their offensive, is an enemy of Turkey, making Kurdistan useful for Turkey as a buffer state. On 28 June 2014 Husiyan Selik, a spokesman for the ruling AK party, made comments to the Financial Times indicating Turkey's readiness to accept an independent Kurdistan in northern Iraq. Various sources have reported that al-Nusra has issued a fatwa calling for Kurdish women and children in Syria to be killed, and the fighting in Syria has led tens of thousands of refugees to flee to Iraq's Kurdistan region. As of 2015, Turkey is actively supporting the al-Nusra, but as of January 2017, Turkey's foreign ministry has said that al-Nusra is a terrorist group and has acted accordingly. People. The Kurds are a people of Indo-European origin. They speak an Iranian language known as Kurdish, and comprise the majority of the population of the region, however, included therein are Arab, Armenian, Assyrian, Azerbaijani, Jewish, Ossetian, Persian, and Turkish communities. Most inhabitants are Muslim, but adherents to other religions are present as well, including Yasinism, Yazidis, Alevis, Christians, and in the past, Jews, most of whom immigrated to Israel. Geography According to the Encyclopædia Britannica, Kurdistan covers about 190,000 square kilometres, and its chief towns are Diyarbakir Amd, Bitlis Bedlis, and Van Wan in Turkey, Erbil Hula, and Slemani in Iraq, and Kermanshah Kermansan, Sanandaj Sine, Ilam and Mahabad Mayabad in Iran. According to the Encyclopedia of Islam, Kurdistan covers around 190,000 square kilometers in Turkey, 125,000 square kilometers in Iran, 65,000 square kilometers in Iraq, and 12,000 square kilometers in Syria, with a total area of approximately 392,000 square kilometers. Iraqi Kurdistan is divided into 6 governorates, 3 of which and parts of others are under the control of the Kurdistan regional government. Iranian Kurdistan encompasses Kurdistan province and the greater parts of West Azerbaijan, Kermanshah, and Ilam provinces. Syrian Kurdistan Kurdish, Kurdistan, is located primarily in northern Syria, and covers the province of al hasika and northern Raqqa Governorate, northern Aleppo Governorate and also Jabal al-Akrad region. The major cities in this region are Kamishli Kurdish, Kamislo, and al hasika Kurdish, Hasika. 
Turkish Kurdistan encompasses a large area of eastern Anatolia region and southeastern Anatolia of Turkey and it is home to an estimated 6 to 8 million Kurds. There are another 9 to 12 million Turkish citizens of Kurdish descent in predominantly Turkish regions of Turkey as the majority of Turkish Kurds no longer live in southeastern Anatolia. Topic: <inaudible> Subdivisions Upper and Lower Kurdistan. In a Dictionary of Scripture Geography published 1846, John Miles describes Upper and Lower Kurdistan as following Modern Kurdistan is of much greater extent than the ancient Assyria, and is composed of two parts the Upper and Lower. In the former is the province of Ardalan, the ancient Arapachatis, now nominally a part of Iraq Ajami, and belonging to the northwest division called al Jobal. It contains five others namely, Betlis, the ancient Karduchia, lying to the south and southwest of the Lake Van. East and southeast of Betlis is the Principality of Julimeric, southwest of it is the Principality of Ahmadiyya, the fourth is Gizera ul Omar, a city on an island in the Tigris, and corresponding to the ancient Bezabda. The fifth and largest is Kara Giolan, with a capital of the same name. The Pashaliks of Kirkuk and Solomania also comprise part of Upper Kurdistan. Lower Kurdistan comprises all the level tract to the east of the Tigris, and the minor ranges immediately bounding the plains and reaching thence to the foot of the Great Range, which may justly be denominated the Alps of Western Asia. The northern, northwestern and northeastern parts of Kurdistan are referred to as Upper Kurdistan, and includes the areas from west of Am to Lake Ermia. The lowlands of southern Kurdistan are called Lower Kurdistan. The main cities in this area are Kirkuk and Arbil. Topic. Climate Much of the region is typified by a continental climate, hot in the summer, cold in the winter. Despite this, much of the region is fertile and has historically exported grain and livestock. Precipitation varies between 200 and 400 mm a year in the plains, and between 700 and 3000 mm a year on the high plateau between mountain chains. The mountainous zone along the borders with Iran and Turkey experiences dry summers, rainy and sometimes snowy winters, and damp springs, while to the south the climate progressively transitions toward semi-arid and desert zones. <laughs> Flora and fauna Kurdistan is one of the most mountainous regions in the world with a cold climate receiving annual precipitation adequate to sustain temperate forests and shrubs. Mountain chains harbor pastures and forested valleys, totaling approximately 16 million hectares square kilometers, including firs and countryside is mostly oaks, conifers, platanus, willow, poplar and, to the west of Kurdistan, olive trees. The region north of the mountainous region on the border with Iran and Turkey features meadow grasses and such wild trees as poplar, willow and oak, hawthorn, cherry plum, rose hips, mountain apple, pear, mountain ash, and olive. The steppe and desert in the south, by contrast, have such species as palm trees and date palm. Animals found in the region include the Syrian brown bear, wild boar, gray wolf, the golden jackal, Indian crested porcupine, the red fox, goitred gazelle, Eurasian otter, striped hyena, Persian fallow deer, long-eared hedgehog, onager, manga and the Euphrates softshell turtle. Birds include, the hooded crow, common starling, Eurasian magpie, European robin, water pipit, spotted flycatcher, namaqua dove, saker falcon, griffon vulture, little crake and collared prattingcole, among others. Topic. Mountains Mountains are important geographical and symbolic features of Kurdish life, as evidenced by the saying, Kurds have no friends but the mountains. Mountains are regarded as sacred by the Kurds. Included in the region are Mount Judy and Ararat, both prominent in Kurdish folklore, Zagros, Kandal, Shingal, Mount Abdulaziz, Kurd Mountains, Jabal al Akrad, Shah Ho, Gabar, Hamran, and Nizir. Topic. Rivers The plateaus and mountains of Kurdistan, which are characterized by heavy rain and snow fall, act as a water reservoir for the Near and Middle East, forming the source of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, as well as other numerous smaller rivers, such as the Little Kabur, Kabur, Thartha, Sahan, Araxas, Kura, Safedrud, Karka, and Hezel. 
Among rivers of historical importance to Kurds are the Murat Arisan and Bhutan rivers in Turkey, the Peshkabur, the Little Zab, the Great Zab, and the Diyala in Iraq, and the Jaghatu the Tatau the Zohab Zahib, and the Gamasiyab in Iran. These rivers, which flow from heights of 3 to 4,000 meters above sea level, are significant both as water sources and for the production of energy. Iraq and Syria dammed many of these rivers and their tributaries, and Turkey has an extensive dam system under construction as part of the Gap Southeast Anatolia project. Though incomplete, the Gap already supplies a significant proportion of Turkey's electrical energy needs. Due to the extraordinary archaeological richness of the region, almost any dam impacts historic sites. Topic: <laughs> Lakes. Kurdistan extends to Lake Ermia in Iran on the east. The region includes Lake Van, the largest body of water in Turkey. The only lake in the Middle East with a larger surface is Lake Ermia, though not nearly as deep as Lake Van, which has a much larger volume. Ermia, Van, as well as Zaravar Lake west of Maravan, and Lake Dukan near the city of Suleymaniye, are frequented by tourists. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Petroleum and mineral resources. KRG controlled parts of Iraqi Kurdistan are estimated to contain around 45 billion barrels, 7.2 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters of oil, making it the sixth largest reserve in the world. Extraction of these reserves began in 2007. Al Hasika province, also known as Jazira region, has geopolitical importance of oil and is suitable for agricultural lands. In November 2011, Exxon challenged the Iraqi central government's authority with the signing of oil and gas contracts for exploration rights to six parcels of land in Kurdistan, including one contract in the disputed territories, just east of the Kirkuk mega field. This act caused Baghdad to threaten to revoke Exxon's contract in its southern fields, most notably the West Kerner Phase I project. Exxon responded by announcing its intention to leave the West Kerna project. As of July 2007, the Kurdish government solicited foreign companies to invest in 40 new oil sites, with the hope of increasing regional oil production over the following five years by a factor of five, to about 1 million barrel per day. Cubic meters d. Gas and associated gas reserves are in excess of 2,800 cubic kilometers, 100 times 10 to the power of 12 cu feet. Notable companies active in Kurdistan include ExxonMobil, Total, Chevron, Talisman Energy, General Energy, Hunt Oil, Gulf Keystone Petroleum, and Marathon Oil. Other mineral resources that exist in significant quantities in the region include coal, copper, gold, iron, limestone, which is used to produce cement, marble, and zinc. The world's largest deposit of rock sulfur is located just southwest of Erbil in July 2012, Turkey and the Kurdistan regional government signed an agreement by which Turkey will supply the KRG with refined petroleum products in exchange for crude oil. Crude deliveries are expected to occur on a regular basis. See also Kurdistan portal Geography portal Middle East portal Asia portal